Hello again, everyone. All right, today's video, we're looking at what my uh, personal favorite is for fire stations. This one came out in 1990, the fire headquarters. This was one of my first, um, I guess, larger pieces to my Lego city um, back in the day. Like I said, came out in 1990, uh, 533 pieces. The set number is 6389. We got four minifigs. You got those hair pieces. I always thought they looked like just bad toupees. Uh, we got two vehicles. We got kind of an off-road brush truck. And then we've got our larger water cannon truck. And just like it seems like with most every firehouse, you have to have a, a helicopter. What would it be without one? Uh, this is my original set that I got. Uh, my dad a, was a firefighter for the uh, volunteer fire department. And for the military, um, on the fire crew as a fire chief. So, we got a lot of fire sets, or I did, as a kid. So, let's take a look at it. I kind of scroll around a little bit. And kind of see the, uh, the headquarters dispatch area up here. And we'll get into it. We'll get this set up on the tripod, and we'll get some details about it. All right, let's get into it. So we've got our four minifigs. I'm gonna set them off to the side. I tried standing them up and every time I'd rotate the the base, it would, uh, they just fall over. I didn't wanna put the studs on them over here in this area. So I just figured I'd set them down. We'll look at the big vehicle first. This is one of my favorites. Um, these doors open up here and this piece opens up and when there's our additional water cannon along with our mounted one. Uh, the other side, just a little easy access point. I think there's a maybe a air tank pack or something that's supposed to go in there. I need to check. You can see it's got a little bit of dust on it. I think I built this and I've never, back in 1990 when I got it new, and I've never taken this one, this one apart. I have taken the helicopter and the, uh, the brush truck and the actual uh, command center apart but let's look at the other pieces i know these are i found out buying a couple more of them are fairly rare they're only in a couple sets and they're a few dollars a piece so <laughs> along with this base plate which as i bumped the camera um it's got these chevrons on it with the three different bays um those are only in maybe two or three sets so we'll look at the truck here. I call it a brush truck just because it's got the off-road tires. We've got our little hose on the back on our spool. Not too bad. We'll move our helicopter up. I need to clean off the windshield. It's really dirty. Um, the hoses. I wish they still made those hoses. You can see one's got a little bit of discoloration to it. I can probably clean that too. But there's that. I think we'll move him over here to the back and I'll rotate this around so our dish moves. We've got that's a print. Um, our fire station here. We'll pull down these garage doors. And believe it or not, uh, the garage doors, these pieces, you see the clear or the trans blue, those are easy to get. The center pieces here, the red and the white that uh, you know just add on to this they're not too bad it's this bottom piece here that's got the handle and you kind of just have to know your garage door pieces these have two little uh, stud pieces, not even studs but pieces on the side here to where it doesn't allow the door to flap open those are five dollars a piece if you want to try to buy more of those in red I think this may be this one or maybe one more set around the same time in the 90s were the only sets that had that bottom piece in red. And yeah, $5 a piece just for this one bottom panel. Now in white, they're like a dollar. And then I've got several in gray, like I used on my Avengers Tower, you know, 50 cents maybe. And other colors, I'd black and I don't know why. So red is for some reason extremely high. Um, Got our helipad up top. Look at the back. I'm going to pull this closer so you can see the swivel chair, 
coffee maker, our tape recorder, and then our two control panels and dispatch center. And you'll notice the correct way to build it is to put it at the very back, but because I'm gonna mod this out and add a back wall to this, solid makes this solid, probably put some windows. And I've thought about even adding a staircase here and add it able to where you can get up to this. I've got an addition to this that uh, essentially doubles the size of it. I bought an extra set of these fencing pieces, which is why I know how much they cost, and another one of these exact base plates. And if you've seen another video I did, I bought another fire station that just came out, I think 2018 or 19. Um, let me check that video out. It's got a drone helipad on the top. So I, I'll have that on there. So once I finish modding this, I'll put both of them together. And then I've got a really large fire center, fire command center, because Lego comes out with fire sets every year. So if you're like me, you probably have a lot of fire sets. You know, big, small, kind of all over the place. But you have nowhere to put them but on the shelf or in a tote. So I wanted to have a large fire station. So we'll get back to it. Let's put all the vehicles, I guess, where they're supposed to go. And see what that looks like. Sorry for bumping the camera again. I'm trying to work around it. And, this, you know, the fire cannon truck can go either there or there, as long as I get the door all the way up. And you know, it's not too bad to save a little bit on Dustin when you put him in the garage. <laughs> yep, that is our fire set. That's my favorite fire command center or fire station. Just because it was my first, but I think it's also one of the best, you know, most complete. You get the base plate, which you don't get anymore. You know, you get three walls, at least three walls. Which pretty much every set with Lego had an open back up until the modulars. But yeah, that's what we've got today. I'll probably, in my next video on fire stations, whenever that does come out, I'll probably have this completely modded and it'll be sitting next to the other addition to the fire station. So stay tuned for that. I do have the... Uh, the firehouse, the modular set fire station, but uh, yeah, you know, you only get one old style fire truck, and yeah, that old truck's not going to put out any kind of fire at any, <laughs> any major city building or structure or anything. So that's why I think whenever I get my Lego city constructed and get all my my Lego room finished, I'm going to have plenty of fire uh, protection for my city. That's what we got for today, guys. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.